there, everybody. My name is Ashley Hunt. I'm the Senior Project Management Instructor here at Storman Studios, and I've got some great news for any of you that are planning on taking your PMP, your Certified Associate in Project Management, your Agile Certified Practitioner. Doesn't matter what certification exam you're getting through PMI, your application experience is changing. And this is huge. This is a huge deal because for years, the application has been very difficult to fill out. And the reason why is because they had a lot of areas that maybe were not readily available to those that were filling out their application. So some of the changes that they are making are pretty awesome. First of all, the application changes happen the second half of June. So we're almost there. The landing page for the application information is being updated currently. So that information should be available on www.pmi.org in a day or two, I would imagine. But now they're only going to track project time by months. Yes. It used to be by hours in process groups. How many hours did you spend planning? How many hours did you spend in execution? Well, that was difficult for people because most of us don't track our time like that. We're like the project started January 1st and it wrapped up on February 2nd. So that is my time frame. And they were having to try and figure out and compartmentalize hours into process groups. Well, we know in project management, there's a lot going on. There's a lot overlapping. So you don't have to do that anymore. You just have to have the start and finish date of your projects. You also don't have to document every single contact who can validate your experience because what if you can't find those people? I mean, PMI did a, put out a survey and this is how they found out and they got feedback about the application. And a lot of people were saying, you know, my application experience can go back eight years and that person, I don't know where they are anymore. And so you don't have to document your contacts unless you were to get audited. Now, one out of every four applications is randomly selected for audit. So yeah, you would have to gather that information after the fact. But for the majority of you, you won't need to. So I would have it, I would try and figure it out prior to submission of your application just in case, but otherwise you don't have to diligently document all of that prior to the application. Application used to be like 40 pages that you would have to go through. Now it's four. Makes it super easy. The other thing that they put in are new drop downs. So you have projects that like what is the functional reporting area? What is your organization's primary focus? What was the size of your team? What was the project budget? And if you don't know the budget or you don't actually work with budgets, that's okay too. The other thing that they've done is it used to be there were only 550 characters. And you'd start getting into it and saying, here's what I did, and you know, here's the project is all about, and bink, and it, it would stop you. And so people were having to shorten their explanations. Well, they've opened it up, so now you can have 500 words, but it has to be minimum 200 words. So anywhere between 200 and 500 words, that's good to go. So you can fill out your explanation. It makes it a little bit easier to explain what you did on your project. So always, always, always go out to PMI.org. That's gonna give you the most up-to-date information. If you haven't already heard, you can now take your PMP online. So it'll be online proctored. You can take it from home. So that's the nice thing. So now's the time. You've got an easier application. You can take your PMP from home. And between now and the big changes for the PMP exam, January 2nd, 2021, the exam remains the same. So the application is changing for all PMI certification. So even if you're not just taking your PMP or taking some of the others that are out there, the application process has definitely gotten far easier than it's ever been before. So definitely go out to PMI and check it out. I Like I said, the, the landing page and all the FAQs and all of that should be updated in the next couple days, and then the new application process will begin. If you're already in the midst of your application and you haven't yet submitted it, don't worry, they'll send you an email that'll let you know, hey, here's how we're going to smooth this transition between your application, the older application, and the newer updated application. So don't worry if you're already halfway through, you don't have to start it all over again. Just look out for an email from PMI letting you know how to manage that situation. Hopefully that's good news for you guys. I definitely know it's going to be so much easier because my students have always said, this is probably the most difficult aspect of the entire process. Well, that is not the case anymore.